Today I'm doing some practicing on the Austin Custom Brass Doubler model. The name Doubler indicates that it might not be your primary horn if you're a professional player. Perhaps you're a trombone player who needs to play euphonium occasionally, then this might be a good horn for you. Uh, you wouldn't want to spend the eight to ten thousand dollars that a horn like I play would cost. This is in the two thousand and under price range, much more agreeable. It is still a four valve compensating instrument, four valves in the three plus one configuration but it uses the Blakely compensating system, so all the fingering advantages and so on as you go down the scale are there for this system. Playing a chromatic scale down from an F concert. So you use the normal three valve fingering patterns as you go down the scale within that compensating range. It responds very nicely. It's quite easy to play. When you pick it up, I think you'll like the sound almost immediately that comes out of it, at least I did. It fits my sound concept pretty well. I'll play here the, what I consider probably the preeminent solo in the band literature for the euphonium. That's the whole second suite in the March movement. <laughs> So it's got quite a nice sound. As I say, it's quite easy to blow. It's very nicely finished. All the joints, all the seams, the, the lacquer, everything else looks very smooth on it. I especially appreciate the slide movement. Very smooth. There's also a good seal. Now these are not vented valves, so if I were to pull this out and push that, you hear the pop, that satisfying little pop that lets you know that there's no air leaking around the valves, so that means they're machined properly. Water keys on the first and third slides, which is common. Second valve you have to pull. Pulls easily. For emptying, it also fits securely enough that it's not going to fall out. The third slide is made like many others today, which is there a shorter, shorter slide. So if you pull it out, you don't have that long tube to draw through. There's no water key on the fourth, but most people don't need that very often. Uh, for me, once every few pieces to dump the fourth is ample. For a four valve compensating horn you have these three extra loops back here which adds length to get that low range in tune. This one has a lock on the fourth valve. It's quite simple. You just loosen the screw, turn this over, tighten it. That's more secure than the ones that have a, a piece soldered here and a flipper that just goes over like that because the screw that holds that flipper can get loose over time. In this case here, you have total control over that. When you open it, you screw that down tight again, and you're, you're sure that it's not going to accidentally fall then while you're playing and do that, or fall against this piece and buzz while you're playing. So you have, it's kind of, a, it's sort of rudimentary, but it's also a nice design, gives you a lot of control over that. The case for this is similar to a lot of the low-end instruments. It's very sturdy, somewhat bulky. Uh, you can see it's fairly thick. It gives you a lot of protection, but it makes it a little more to pack around. There's a nice music pouch on the outside of it. Here we have one of the best features. It's got wheels. Uh, they roll nicely as well, so uh, very smooth wheels, and they're far enough apart to not be too tippy. So it's a great horn to consider for doublers, which is the designation of the instrument, but also for students, uh, college students even, who would like a compensating horn but just don't have it in their budget to buy one of the super expensive instruments right now. Uh, might get you through college though, and then give you some time to think about what you want. You'll learn a lot while you're in college, for example. Bought instruments, you might have a chance to try several different brands uh, by the time you graduate or sometime after that then you might have an idea of what you want to buy, and this horn will have served you well and will probably sell for a pretty good price in the used market if you take good care of it. 
Over the years, I've had the opportunity to teach a lot of students who have been away from the instrument for a long time. Perhaps they played in high school and college, uh, sold the instrument or let it sit in the attic for 30 or 40 years and want to come back to it now, later in life. Uh, this would be a fine horn for that because, again, you've got the basic features of a professional instrument, but you're not going to invest quite so much money for something you may be playing just for fun. On the other hand, if you're independently wealthy, then, of course, you want to go for one of the more expensive instruments. But this horn would, would give you all the features of the professional instruments, as I said. So when you play things like the Holst First Suite, where it goes down to a low E flat, that's a very tough note to play on a four valve non-compensating horn. You're left with a choice of either playing it sharp with four and one, or with four, one, and two, you're playing it flat. And there really is no in between. So you have to lift one down or lift the other up. Uh, we're in this compensating realm, you're fairly comfortable with the fingering you use on octave above. Just add the fourth valve in the lower octave and it works just fine. So anyway, it's it's got several categories of player that it might fit very well. It's made quite nicely. Uh, the construction quality of the instrument feels very good. The caps, that's been a bugaboo of any of these cheaper horns. The caps on this one, once you take them off to oil them, they're quite easy to put back on again. Uh, the threads are coarse enough, if you will. That doesn't sound like a nice term, but it actually is in this case because you want to put the, the thing back on quickly and not have to search for a super fine thread as you're doing it. So I think this is, is quite a good value in the market. And if you're looking for something without spending a, a large amount of money, uh, this would definitely be a horn you should take a look at. Austin is very nice to deal with. They're a great company. They've been around for quite a while in the United States, and customer service is definitely in the forefront of their thinking. So give it a try and see what you think of it.